Hey YouTube, TechLink9 here once again guys. Same intro like every single time. Maybe I should switch it up something, I don't know. Um if you think um I should switch it up, I don't know, just comment it. I'll switch it up. You know? Whatever. Alright, um so anyway, um today's uh video is actually gonna be a pretty cool one. It's, it involves um all computers and all that. And a little C D on the side. <laughs> uh anyway, uh anyway I'm gonna be showing you today um how to um, disable the, um, let's say, let's see on, um, this is a, obviously a Windows 7, but I'm saying on a, like an, on a, a Windows XP computer, you forgot your password, and you forgot your administrative password too, and you want to get into your computer, right? Well, um, this file right here will, um, actually help you, um, get through that, alright? And if you have, like, a buddy's password or something, and, um, I've known this process for years and years, but I didn't want to show it to the public until now, because, People may start to steal computers and just um uh, then uh, do this process to get through the password and all that, and just make and sell it. Then you know, so I didn't want to do it until now. You know, it's just me. I guess other people did it. I don't know. Maybe they stole and they just found out. Whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna be showing you how to bypass the password, and um, it just involves this very small file and putting that file onto the CD. So um, th this file it's an RAR file. All you're gonna be doing is um extracting it. I'm gonna extract it to my desktop. Alright, so all you're gonna be doing is just opening this file. Alright, and here you can see that it says ISO file. And um by default you won't have a program that will open that iOS file, so you have to just um download um iOS file downloader or something on Google and you should find a free uh free uh software one. So I'm just gonna open it up and you have to insert a disk onto there. Alright, so, um, let's try on the light, actually. And, um, see so you have this disc. I'll make sure it's CD, alright? Not DVD. It won't work. It, your computer won't work with DVD. So, um, just gotta put it in. Alright, uh, make sure, and make sure it's blank. It won't work if it's not blank, alright? So, anyway, after you put it in, um, you wanna do that, and you wanna click burn, alright? After you click burn, um, it'll, um, do, it'll only take about two minutes to do it and finish it up. Um, when I click burn, it obviously won't work because I already have that file on that CD and I'm not willing to waste another CD just because, you know, I'm cheap. <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah. I click on it. It gives me an error or whatever. It says blank CD, but anyway, alright. So, um, you just finished it. It'll say it's done, right? Then we'll go, we'll go back to the CD, right? Kind of looks weird on the screen. But alright, you got the CD, right? Um, so... Then, um, you want to go into your computer BIOS. So, let me actually show you how to do that. I'll be right back. Alright, um, guys, I'm back. Um, I just set up my, um, XP com laptop computer or whatever. It is a Dell. As you can see right there. Uh, yeah, you can see right there. Alright. So, um, let's start it up, and I'll show you the, r how the rest of the setup, alright? So, once you start it up, you want to keep pressing F2, alright? Just keep pressing it. And this will enter you into BIOS, alright? Just keep pressing F2. Alright, and now you can see it says, um, entering, or preparing to enter setup, alright? That's entering into BIOS. Alright, um, now you will be here. I apologize for sh shakiness. I don't have a, like um official tripod or anything. And now you can see right there it says um Alt P to to go to the next page. So I'm actually gonna be doing that. And you wanna go all the way to uh you wanna go all the way to the next page. Alright, you wanna go all the way to the um next page until you um see um about drivers. That is actually the very next page. So you can see here and um. You want to make sure that your um, CD, DVD, CD, RW drive is at the very first one. So um, all you want to do is to select that one and bring it all the way to the top. So you want to uh, press U or D to bring it up. So I'm going to bring that all the way to the top. All right, and after that, um, you just want to uh, click Escape, and you want to save changes and exit. All right. 
And now, um, after everything starts up and all that, you want to uh, turn it off properly, probably. But I'm just going to turn it off because it's old computer. I'm just going to hold down the power button. But, um, before you turn off your computer or whatever, the proper way, um, make sure you insert your CD. Alright. So, insert your CD, but don't close the tray yet, alright? Don't make the CD run, alright? So, just leave it out like that. Don't push it in. Now, turn off your computer any way you like. Alright, it's off. Now you want to push it in. Alright. And now you want to power it on. And, um, as long as you did everything correctly, you watched my video without skipping through it, I guarantee this will work for any XP computer that you need to get a password with, alright? And I won't show up on mine because I already did this before. And all that. It says, see, it says setup and all that. Oh, you missed it, but whatever. It was doing setup and all that, but, um,. You will, you will, you will get this type of screen, but it won't come up like this because I already did it once. So um, after this, um, you will get like um, what's it called? Another screen that shows up. Um, would you like to uh, delete your password for this username, this username, and administrative, whatever, all your names are, whatever. And after that, um, you can click Y or N to yes or no, and you can delete all your passwords or whatever. And after that, it will restart the computer and get rid of all your passwords, and you can access your account fully without anything, all right? Without being an administrator, you can uh, re um, enable the password again for your password or anything, all right? Um, this is only for educational purposes. Please do not go out and steal someone's XP computer, which I don't know why you would. You would probably only get like 20 bucks for it after you do all this. Anyway, if you try to sell it. And um, so thank you guys. Really appreciate you guys for you for um, watching this video. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe. Um, I really appreciate you guys for um watching this video. Um, thank you very much for um supporting me. And um, if you have any suggestions how to make my videos better, um, maybe make it easier for you to see the screen or anything. Um, uh, please make suggestions like uh if I should um uh, make it better, if I could, if I should make my voice more clear or anything like that. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Um, thanks.